Okay, so here we go with another example. This example tells us that a car travels at 88 kilometers per hour for five hours and then 20 kilometers per hour for two hours. Okay, now this, um, the, the first part they ask is um, how far does it travel? Okay, so uh, that is an important part because if we want to go and work out the average velocity that it will travel over the whole time, we are going to have to um, break it up in pieces anyways. So it's good that they ask us how far does it travel. Now, how far it travels is definitely dependent on how far it traveled during the first part and then during the second part. So here we see that there's two parts. Okay, part one and part two. And during the first part, they ask us how far does it travel. And here we notice, well, what do we know? We know velocity and we know time. So if I look at this formula, velocity is the displacement over time. Then I see, well, I have already have velocity and I already have time. So I'll be able to use this formula. So let's go see uh, first part is the 88 kilometers per hour for five hours so let's do our stock taking i'm going to call it st i have my velocity unfortunately my velocity is given in kilometers per hour like we already learned how to change that is to multiply 88 gets multiplied with 10 to the power of 3 and divided with 60 to the power of 2. Okay, which means my velocity, let's go work that out. My velocity is 88 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 60 squared. Cool. And that gives me 24.44. So round your answer here 24, 44 meters per second because that's the standard metric unit okay that's my velocity in my stock take the next part is the time time is given in hours here it's five hours and if we need to change that time to be in terms of seconds we take five to go from hours to seconds we must multiply with 60 twice so times 60 squared and that gives us 60 squared times 5 gives us 18,000 seconds. Cool. And with that in mind, we can just go substitute. Okay. So we substitute. Velocity is therefore 24,44 is equal to the change in displacement over time okay and now simply solve for x so we're going to multiply both sides with this 18,000 to get rid of the denominator of 18,000 and that is when we see that our displacement is indeed in terms of meters okay 18,000 gets multiplied with 24.44 you want to you can add more there it's fine okay 43,000 this thing if you can round it okay definitely we can see that should be 44 okay it's definitely just because of our rounding in that step that should be 44,000 44,000 no I lie 440,000 440,000 meters. That's how far it travels during the first part. Let's see during the second part. Second part is um, the 20 kilometers per hour for two hours. So same formula of course. It's the stock taking that there's a little bit of a change in and I'll change my colors as well. 20 kilometers per hour. It is really going very slow. I must have hit some traffic. Okay so this is 20 kilometers per hour but that must be multiplied with 10 to the power of 3 and divided with 60 squared and that gives us okay 20 times a thousand that's what 10 q 
cubed is divided by 3600 that's what 60 squared is okay gives me 5.56 gives me 5.56 meters per second that's what I'll do in my stock stock taking step okay the time this time is sorry time is equal to two hours which is two times 60 squared that I can do in my head I'm sure you can too that's two times three thousand six hundred seven thousand two hundred okay now in my substitution step sub step okay in my substitution step I can just go substitute uh, 5 comma 5 6 is equal to change in X over time so just to confirm that you do know what I'm doing is I'm just replacing this variable with velocity and that variable with time so is the velocity that I worked out meters per second and my time variable is 7200 now multiplying with 7200 on both sides will solve for x or change in x and that means that this displacement the second part is 5.56 times 7200 okay that gives me uh, 40,000 okay and 32 Now again we see that the problem comes in is because we rounded here five uh, to the power of five six. Let's just let's just check that. Maybe it's not a good idea for us to round. So just keep as many fives as we as we had there times seven thousand two hundred. Okay, um, not seventy two thousand seven two hundred. And there we see oh, it, it actually if if it wasn't for our rounding error we would have gotten the answer forty okay so try as far as possible to keep um, uh, to not round and if you in your answer just to correct your rounding error uh, when you notice it okay so how far did it travel okay obviously now we add the two part part one plus part two should now give us four hundred and forty thousand plus forty thousand will give us 480,000. So the total is 480,000 and when we give our answer please give the unit and the direction in the direction of motion. Okay so now let's just go put do it online okay so yeah if we have to fill it in how far does it travel the first part it's obviously the first um, uh, velocity that it had okay we know it's that formula we substituted in here by working out what is this average velocity which is 24.44 okay and again here um, we can just leave some a few more uh, variables in there or commas it doesn't really matter um, as long as it's at least correct to two decimal places okay here how far we don't know the displacement this time but we do know time we worked out time to be 18,000 that's how long the uh, five hours is in terms of seconds okay now substituting velocity no X we calculated X is equal to and this time x is equal to velocity velocity times time but this is the substitution step so we should actually type in the velocity 24.44 times time is uh, 18,000 okay and then our final answer was 440,000 meters okay always preview just see that looks good okay 24.44 440,000 that looks good okay now the second part same thing same formula stop taking only difference here was the velocity and the time okay
okay velocity was 5.555 okay uh, six uh, if we round at some point time here was 72 I'm sorry not 72 7200 seconds don't put in the units here okay here you only put in the values so x is equal to velocity times time but we do have the value for velocity that's 5.556 um, time is okay as you can see I'm just just roughly as long as it's correct to two decimal places it should be fine 1200 see preview looking good okay and then x equals did I put in my units there? Yes, I did. So here I worked it out. It was 40,000 meters. So in total, how far did it travel? 4801123 meters. There we go. Syntax is okay. Great stuff. Next question. What is the average velocity? Okay, so what is meant by the average velocity? Well, of course, um, for the first part, there was a part where he had five um, hours traveling at a certain velocity, the first velocity, and then he traveled another two hours at a second velocity, okay, at a different um, velocity. Now, the average velocity over the whole time period is now this whole velocity here average velocity over this whole thing and it doesn't change it's just displacement over time okay and we've already calculated the total displacement and we know the total time okay so knowing the formula this is the formula we know total displacement we've just worked it out is 40 480,000 meters Okay, and we also know that the change in time was equal to 5 plus 7. Okay, or that's in hours. Or it's 18,000 seconds plus 7,200 seconds. Okay, which is, what's that? 25,200. 25,200 seconds. That's the total time it took him. Okay, and we're just going to use that. So we know it's this formula. And we know that the um, total distance is 48,000. We know that the total time is 252005. What am I doing? <laughs> not zero. 252025. That's not a five, that's seconds. Okay. And uh, that's it. So substituting. Okay. We know velocity is x over. T, X is known 48,000 divided by T 25,200 okay let's just preview looking good okay and then finally our velocity is therefore equal to let's go work that out we have 480,000 divided by 25,200 and that gives us an average velocity of 19.05 19.05 don't forget your units meters per second that's how you can write it if you use this method let's preview it perfect 19.05 meters per second 